Hello students, welcome once again and in this section we want to look at uh, Lagrange polynomial of uh, the second degree and what we are going to do is that we are going to use it to uh, uh, approximate the function and also find the absolute error for the uh, function if f of s if um, s not s1 and s2 is given if f of s is equal to the lean of s plus 1 so now from the Lagrange polynomial know that um, the function uh, p of x here is given by we have f of s not here then we have our not of x right then we have f of s one year then we have l1 of x then we have plus um f of s two year or two of us two then it goes on and goes on now the question says that we should do it to the second degree so to the second degree which means that uh, we have zero so we have first and also the second degree so this is what we are now if we are given that s naught is just zero s1 is 0 0.6 and also s2 here is 0 0.9 so what we are going to do is that for the function given over here we have f of s being equal to the lean by giving the lean of s plus one now for f of s naught being equal to or uh, not plus one f of s not was given as zero so just put it there then we have zero plus one and this f of s not here we just give us we have zero right now for f of s being one year right f of s one that now f of s one was given as 0 0.6 so we have the lean of 0 0.6 plus one year and uh, for that one we are just going to get um, 0 0.47000 right now for f of s be f of s2 or not lean one then we have that s2 was giving us 0 0.9 so we have the lean of 0 0.9 plus one right so we are just going to get f of s that being equal to we're just going to get um, 0 0.64185 five now since we have these values remember the function is written this way now we have f of s not as that we have f of s one as this right then we have f of s two as that now what is our not what is our one of s and what is our two of x and that is what we are going to um, do over here so for that one um if you want to know f of s or not of x then it's just going to be s minus s1 here then we have x minus s2 right here divided by your s naught minus your x1 and also your s naught minus your x2 here so let's substitute the values in so we have x1 is given as 0 0.6 then also s2 is given as 0 0.9 here so being divided by s naught we have to be zero so we have 0 0.6 here and we have 0 minus 0 minus 0 0.9 here now when we um, compute this we are just going to get um 50 over 27 here right then multiplying this we have s squared then if we do this we are going to get um, um, uh, negative 0 0.6 plus 0 0.9 which is just going to give us negative 1.5 x and we're going to get positive 0 0.6 multiplied by 9 will just give us 0 0.54 right so that will be for l naught now so for l1 right so for l1 of x we are just going to have um s minus your s naught here then x minus your x2 right then we have s1 minus s naught here then we have s1 here minus s2 here so if that is the case then which means that um we are giving s naught as zero then also s2 to be 0 0.9 here then we have s1 here 0. s this is um s1 s1 is 0 0.6 minus 0 then we have 0 0.6 minus 0 0.9 now when we compute this we should get um negative 50 over 9 and when we expand this we are just going to get um s squared minus 0 0.9 x here okay so let's do for r2 of x so for r2 of x r2 of x here right 
is giving us we have x minus s naught here we have x here minus all right so we have um x1 here then being divided by your s2 minus s naught here and then also we have s2 minus your s naught also here all right so from here we are going to have um x minus x naught so x minus x naught is just um s naught here is zero then s minus x1 s1 is 0 0.6 here then being divided by s2 is just 0 0.9 minus zero then we have 0 0.9 here minus zero right okay so from here we are going to get um 100 here divided by seven and um expanding this we just get s squared minus 0 0.6 x here so now since we have the um the um, the values for l not l1 and l2 what we are going to do next is that i'm going to put them together remember the general one is um, um f of s not uh, multiplied by l not of x here now you realize that um we had f of s not right f of s not we had that one to be um zero we add that one to be zero so if this is zero which means that l naught here also goes to zero so everything for the first part here goes to zero so let's write zero here now for the second part we have um f f of s1 to be that so this will be multiplied by um l1 of s and l1 of s is giving us um, negative 50 over 9 so negative 50 year over 9 year be multiplied by we have 0 0.47000 0, 0, 0 year um, then we have s squared minus 0 0.9 x year then also for the last part we have the 100 over 7 year right be multiplied by your f of f of s2 f of s2 we have to be 0 0.64185 then um, this is we are just left with 0 0.6 x here now when we put this together right when we put this together we are just going to get um p of x here to be equal to um we have um negative 47 here being divided by um 18 then we can have a squared minus 0 0.9 x here then this multiplied by this we just give us um four two seven nine here yeah, being divided by one thousand eight hundred then we have s squared minus zero point six x here remember the question is we should um we should approximate what f of s being equal to zero point five right so what we are going to do next is actually to put um um x to be of the p p of s to be 0 0.5 right so we have for p of s here s here being um, 0 0.45 then which means that um, if you substitute um, 0 0.5 in each one of them right substitute 0 0.5 in each one of them so we have negative 18 here then we can have um, 0 0.45 here squared minus 0 0.9 here then we have 0 0.5 here right then plus 4279 here divided by 1800 then we have 0 0.45 here squared here 0 0.6 here then 0 0.445 squared here and if we compute this then we should get um, p of s being equal to 0 0.36829 um, so that will be for um the approximation of that now the question also says we should find the absolute error there's an absolute error question here so now let's compute the absolute error now absolute error we all know no absolute error is just given by um so we have the absolute error given by our f of so what the function f of s minus what we now calculated which is the p of s of that right now we know what um this is it's just that but what is um, um what is f of that 
so remember that if we have f of 0 point that we have lean of s plus 1 right so it's just going to be 0 0.5 here plus 1 here and this will just give us um we are going to get um 0 0.37 one five six right so if we have that one then our relative error which is just um f of that which is that we just get 0 0.37156 here minus um our p of s which was giving us that right so therefore our absolute error here now when we compute this we should get um Remember, it is absolute, so we should get a positive value. So I'm going to get 0 0.00327. And then 7. Yeah, so that will be it for that. Thank you very much for joining me in this section, and I'll see you in the second section. For um, so if this is your first time, then please like, comment, and also uh, subscribe, and also hit the notification, the notification bell for more.